hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome to day two, stream two <laughs> of our Adobe Live Week. I see so many uh, familiar faces in chat. Hello, Matthias, uh, uh, Anna, good to see you. Oswell, William, good to see all of you guys. Um, I uh, am Voodoo Val, for those of you guys who are just joining us and didn't hang out with us yesterday, and I am joined by the lovely Miss Shauna Lynn Penchezen. Um, today we're gonna be doing some uh, awesome uh, lettering and illustrations and stuff. It's, it's, it's gonna be awesome. We've got like a cool Harry Potter vibe yeah. um, going on. Um, quick reminders, uh, we have got an awesome challenge going on today uh, for you guys if you weren't here yesterday or in the streams uh, just before us. Um, check out the challenge tab uh, above the chat pod. Um, today we are uh, doing a, a, a challenge themed around using the symmetry tool, which is super awesome. Um, and we also have the daily creative challenge uh, going on, so check that out as well. Um, we also have the chat and win going as always, where we will be giving away stuff from Tatlin which is awesome. Very excited about this week's uh, prizes. Um, so if you're interested in uh, a chance to win some cool stuff from Tatley, definitely head over to the uh, behance.net slash live chat um, and be active um, in about uh, 30 minutes here. Uh, we'll be getting into that. Um, but enough reminders. Yeah. How are you doing today, Shauna? I'm good. Awesome, I've awesome. got my, my tea. I'm ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> Someone in the chat said, hello, Empress Palpatine. So. Yo, Empress Palpatine here reporting for duty. <laughs> Like that. Um, yeah, and I don't need these right now, so I'm gonna take them off because they're just in the way. Um, yeah, but I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. Um, so yeah. for those of us or those of uh, uh, members of chat uh, who were not hey, here uh, from uh, yesterday, why don't you maybe talk a little bit yeah. about um, yourself and give us a recap of what you did yesterday? Okay, so like the quick Spark Notes version of my life, I'm a freelance lettering artist from Orlando, moving to Chicago at the end of October. Um, I'm obsessed with Disney and Harry Potter, hence what we were working on today. We are doing Harry Potter if it were a baby book. <laughs> um, and so last, yes, last night, yesterday, <laughs> we got to this point where we got the entire sketch fleshed out and it's ready to go. And it's the from the Order of the Phoenix, I believe, where Fred and George Weasley are hightailing it out and say, give her hell for us peeves in reference to Dolores Umbridge. Very excited. It looks so, so good. That's So this Thank is the you. sketch up here so that you guys yeah. can all check it out. Um, but uh, you kind of went over and did like all the, the cool steps, showed us like all the different sketch layers mm -hmm. and everything yesterday, which, was really, which is really cool. Yeah, um, and I, I used the symmetry tool to create a circle mm -hmm. so that I could, well, an oval, so that I could get a good, um, that's what I'm looking for. Good frame, kind yeah. of line up. Composition. Composition, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, so what do you have planned for us today? What are we going to be jumping into, the steps, so, steps wise? Yeah, so today we're going to block everything out. I'm going to start with the lettering, um, and then I'm going to do a little bit. I'm going to play with the symmetry tool a little bit on these little like bursts we have going on here. I generally do them a little more freehand, but I want to see what will happen if I if I use the symmetry tool and see if it makes them kind of crazy. Yeah, I think that'll be really awesome, actually. Yeah. I'm excited it, for that. They may, it may not work how I want it to look, but we're at least going to try. Okay. Yeah. Um, but so we're going to start out just like by blocking these out. I haven't really figured out the colors yet, so that may happen today. That may mm -hmm. happen tomorrow as we're like finishing things up. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited. But yeah. Let's jump into it. I'm, um, I'm excited. Like, I love the composition. I'm really happy with how this is looking currently. And I'm, I'm excited just to like start seeing it like get cleaned up. I think this is one of my f my favorite parts of your um, uh, sort of process is that you have like all the sketchy letters and everything in and then I get to watch you go through and like do all of these like fantastic lines and start blocking everything in because yeah. I myself cannot do that. I'm a sketchy, painty mess <laughs> whenever I go to finish things. So this is very satisfying to watch. Yeah, I have the same I have the same feeling though like when I watch your stuff because mm -hmm. it is really fun to watch it go from that sketch to like that that weird like muddy period where you're like, mm -hmm. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's gonna happen. And all of a sudden you're like- This may or may not be a painting. <laughs> yeah, and then you're like, you draw a couple lines and all of a sudden it's like, whoa. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, but speaking of uh, you 
doing these these hand lettering um, mm-hmm. and illustrations and stuff. I had the wonderful pleasure this morning of uh, accompanying Shauna uh, to the coffee shop to get the, what was it called? It's the Citrus Defender. Yes, the Citrus Defender. And if you guys have um, taken a look at her Behance, she has a whole illustration up for the Citrus Defender. And I told her, I said, I love the illustration. I looked at it and it looks so delicious. We need to go try this. So we went and did that this morning and it was fantastic. <laughs> My secret is I add, I make them add two pumps of peppermint and it makes the biggest difference. It's so good. But it's like my my go-to drink when my sinus is hurt. I want to see so. if I can find it right here. This yeah. is the Citrus Defender. D- Dana, the so infamous good. Citrus Defender. Listen, it's warm, it's toasty, and I would totally drink it on cold testing days. <laughs> it's um, amazing. <laughs> so that is it right there. And I remember seeing this and just being like, this just looks and feels and sounds delicious. Uh, I want to try this. So yeah. I had the Starbucks Citrus Defender in real life today and it was good. <laughs> I'm slowly turning people onto it. Like when I was at Icon in July, there was a Starbucks in our hotel, mm-hmm. which was equally as dangerous because I yeah. also love their their nitro cold brew and they happen to have nitro cold brew. I was gonna say that sounds like a disaster for me if it's just like right there where I can just get Starbucks whenever and it, I want. And it wasn't a long line. That's why, so it, like it was just there and easily accessible. So I was like, mm-hmm. mm, I'm gonna have this every day. All the time. Yeah, Citrus Defender also sounds like a super awesome like superhero too. Yeah. Like, It'd be like it'd be like an orange, and he'd have cute little eyes. Oh yes, his little nose. And then he'd have he'd have a cape. Yeah, I was gonna say he definitely has to have a cape. Can he have like a like a little leaf that looked like bangs? Because if I were if I were a citrus defender, I would definitely grow leaf bangs. Yes, perfect. <laughs> there. <His> little <laughs> heads citrus off. defender. Citrus defender. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Also, also a, fanta- a fantastic thing to draw if you guys are looking for inspiration for our challenge today, um, especially with the uh, round shape there for the symmetry tool. Yes. Could definitely could definitely get some citrus defenders in the challenge submissions oh, today great. if you guys are into it. <laughs> if someone does that, I I would be. I would. My whole life would be made. Yeah, I think I'll I think I'll be a little disappointed if we don't get a single citrus defender now. Yeah, or like something yeah. fruit based. Definitely something, some kind of some kind of fruit defender. Yeah. It's gonna have to happen. Um, it replaced the medicine ball tea. Yes, it did. Yes. Yep. And every now and then you'll go to a Starbucks where they're like, "What's the citrus defender?" And I'm like, "It's the thing with the defense tea and the lemonade." They're like, "Oh, the medicine ball." I'm like. No. <laughs> I'm like, yes, but. Um, <laughs> Matthew. It's officially on the, on the menu now. Matthew uh, wants to know if this is a Surface Book. It is a Surface Pro 4. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, so almost a Surface Book, but not quite. Um, and how are you liking that? Just because that's usually the, the next question is. I, I mean, you're... I love it. It's because I, I love it for like the portability. I don't want to lift it too much because we got it connected here, but like it's super thin, super mm-hmm. lightweight. Um, and it lets me travel very easily. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm able to pull this thing out on the plane and mm-hmm. sit and draw. Mm-hmm. And like if you, occasionally too, like you can get, you can find like plugs on the, um, on the on the plane so you can plug your equipment in. Mm-hmm. And so I was able to do a five hour flight from Orlando to here. Wow. And draw almost the entire flight. Oh, that's so nice. That's so awesome. And like I think because. Um, like I was saying yesterday, I use the iPad, mm-hmm. um, so we kind of both have like a little portable mobile um, drawing yeah. thing, you know. And um, I would say, like having something like this, um, it honestly kind of like tripled the amount of work that I get done, just because I can like constantly draw and I can sit someplace yeah. that's more comfortable than like my desk, you know, and sit in my chair and I can go like chill in the yard or I can yeah, go to the exactly. park or I can, you know, sit on my couch and, and draw and it's awesome. Yeah, I worked on, on solely this for an entire month when um, I was in Chicago and I, I'm able to do almost everything on it. Like it's a little harder because I'm used to having, I've got a big curved monitor. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm, I like having like stuff I can have all up here and then work down here. Mm-hmm. But I was able to do all my client work on this. And the nice thing was like, I was able to go like upstairs and have coffee with my mom and work in the sunroom while, yeah. you know, just kind of while my day was going or like when I'm home. 
I, um, I'll be working at my desk and if it's around like seven-ish at night, my, my dog, Teddy Bear, will come over. My Teddy Bear. <laughs> he'll come over and he'll start kind of huffing and puffing at me and so I just have to get up, move to the couch and I take this out and continue working. Awesome, yeah. It's, I so, think it's definitely conducive to like more artist happiness, you know, when you can yeah. just kind of get out of the, the space that you're usually kind yeah. of tethered to, which is, is really nice. And um, the, well, and the, um, you can get like different tips for the pen too, and that made the, the biggest difference for me because the default one has like a rubbery tip and I don't like that. Mm -hmm. But I have one where it's like a pointed tip. Nice. And I mean, this is like the one I solely use. Awesome. So, um, um, someone asked about the keyboard. It's a Microsoft foldable travel keyboard. Excellent. I love it. I like how it folds. Like that's actually yeah. really, really awesome. Nice and teeny. Does it magnetize shut? Yeah. And everything. Oh. That is so nice, and it's yeah. so compact and great. And Wonderful. It's, yeah, and it's easy to, you just have to charge it. And That's it's, so cool. It holds a charge forever. Really? Yeah, so Amazing. it's super easy to, to work with, and you can, it can work with iPad, iPhone, Android, and the computer. Oh, wow. So okay. like, you can Bluetooth it like to your phone. That's actually amazing. Yeah. That's that might actually make me like seriously want to get one of those. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it's really cool, and you can I think you can sync it to like two different devices at any given time. That's amazing. So it's really really nice. That seems like a wonderful investment. Yeah. Um, I, Julia is saying uh, it's so satisfying how well you draw the letters. That's Aww, what I was talking about, guys. It's, it's wonderful. Just it's kind of like those. I feel like watching Shauna do uh, hand lettering is like the. Um, the like the satisfaction reels on on YouTube where you just get to see like people cut perfect cakes yeah. and stuff like that. It's just like watching you fill in these letters. I'm like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> I like to joke. I'm like Bob Ross of lettering. There's no there's no mistakes, only happy accidents. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Been thinking about uh, getting a Surface Pro for a while. I want one. This is from Joseph. Um, yeah, they're 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 pretty awesome. Yeah. The nice thing is, like, if you can go to a to a Microsoft store, you can actually try it out in the store, and that's kind of mm -hmm. what sold me because you just have to ask and see which ones have um, have uh, Photoshop on them mm -hmm. because they do load Photoshop on a lot of those computers so that you can test it out. Because yeah. this this is meant for drawing. Yeah. Um, and I've played with, I played with the Surface Studio there too, the one that fold that goes the up big and one, down. Yeah. And it's super satisfying to just like use one finger and press it and down. Because it's really smooth. That's what I hear. It is. is. It's oh super, my god. It's, like, and it, it takes literally no effort to press it down. Oh, that's amazing. And then once it's there, it stays. Just don't accidentally set your coffee on it or something like that yes. <laughs> to be terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Like I had the opportunity to work on one for three days in uh, in Vegas at Adobe Summit uh, that last year. Mm -hmm. And. It was one of those things, like if I didn't already have a dedicated working computer, I would have gone right out and bought one because it was just that nice of a piece of equipment. Wow, that's uh, really cool. Let's go, Sean has, saved my, has single handedly saved my butt so many times with hand lettering tips. <laughs> I try, um, I try, Laz. Uh, Rob Zilla wants to know um, Shauna, have you tried the draft table by Elevation Lab? Could no, you what is this? Surface? I guess it's like a. Like you can you can put your surface at an incline or okay well so it must be like a tool to lift I I've so never seen it this myself, actually so. does have like a kickstand yeah that's what I thought yeah it, I just don't like using sturdy. the kickstand because I don't like drawing like this mm -hmm. um, whenever I'm on this I generally like hold it like I would hold a sketchbook I have to like really work my wrists and stuff because my um, Cintiq is at an angle like that and it does feel really weird to be drawing yeah. like that after a while. But when I when I use the iPad, I usually am like, you know, sitting cross-legged, like on a pillow, someplace yeah. with it in my arms. Like, I'm generally sketching. sitting like a pretzel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. They have, um, yeah, and like with like I have a the Cintiq 13 inch at home, mm -hmm. and that ends up. I think I have mine at like the lowest angle possible. Really? I have mine like cranked up like as uh, far as it'll go. <laughs> I've I've tried using it all. It's you've got like three options, mm -hmm. and I and then like flat. Mm -hmm. I tried flat, but I'm so short that like sitting at my desk, I couldn't like see over. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't do that. So I had to have mine at like, it's it's really, it's only like this high. Like it's, oh, gotcha. it's a very small angle, but it's just enough that I can lean on it and do the work. Maybe I should try that. Like, you know, just set it down. I feel yeah. like that would be, that might be really cool to do. Um, this is gonna be really satisfying for anybody you Anybody else in chat? Uh, oh my gosh, she's dropping the colors in. Oh man, that looks great. I love I use, it. 
I use the pencil bitmap tool because it's all it's bitmap versus like the aliasing at the end. I don't think I've ever done that. So I'll show you in a second. Yeah, what, let, maybe you can kind of yeah, give so, us a little demo. Like the difference is like, so I have like my bitmap and I'm draw a circle here. Mm -hmm. And you can see how there's no um, transparency. Mm -hmm. And so what it is is if I do like, let me use this one. If I do pencil tool, you'll see all that that aliasing there, all mm -hmm. the um, the little artifacts and things. That's the word, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I fill in this, it fills in completely. Mm -hmm. If I fill in this, yeah, then it has that. But a like ring. And generally, though, if you're going to use something like that, like you're going to fill it in like this, so it keeps that texture. Uh huh. But when I want something to be solid like this, I use the um, pencil tool for inking. And then it makes life really easy. That's awesome. Very, very cool. And then I use that, like, to, I'll use that to color block, and then I'll use the pencil for, like, adding textures and things in. That's nice. I'm definitely going to have to try yeah. that. Because sometimes I, because, like, you and I are similar in that we both like to use, like, the textury, like, pencil kind of, like, chalky brushes and stuff. Yeah. And sometimes when I go to fill it, I'm just like, oh, man. <laughs> like, it's yeah. got that little ring around it. So I'll have to, I'll have to do that next time. That's awesome. Yeah. There's a way, like, if you want to fill it in that you, you use the lasso tool and you go, like, in between your line. Mm -hmm. to, and I'm like, nah, that's too much work. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. sometimes certain techniques just don't, don't work for a yeah. certain workflow so like they just it doesn't vibe with me and like that's why I switched to this because I really I love the really crisp line mm -hmm. and so it works out really well for how I work yeah so like great. there's that um, also we've got uh, under 13 minutes until our chat and win um, so get ready guys because we're gonna we're gonna ask you a question have you spam the chat <laughs> have you get some hype in the chat pretty soon uh, for those of you guys who are over on YouTube watching definitely head over to behance.net slash live uh, that's where we are reading the chat and where you will need to be if you want to uh, participate in the chat and win um, we definitely want to hear from all you folks uh, who are chilling over there so come on down and visit us <laughs> Um, so, uh, brush, fill, pencil for textures, um, is that what she said? Um, yeah, I think basically yeah. if you're using I, the... Yeah, like the brush is going to let you have really nice textures, but to a degree, like you can get really nice textures with the with the pencil as well. Mm -hmm. um, I have a whole set of, of bitmap inkers is what I call them, mm -hmm. and they're on, they're on creative market. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah. You actually have like, like tons of brushes and like a bunch of wonderful things. Yeah. Um, so like this is one of them and you're going to see it end up I just put it um but see like that's that's beautiful. And that's the the pencil. The only difference is there's not that um opacity change. So where can I find those if uh, uh, I wanted to go and creativemarket.com/shanaparmesan. But so like you can get texture with the um with the pencil, the only difference is you're not going to have any transparency dither. But Let me so see it. If I can find this. I'm trying to see, I know that there's a few that have. Yeah, here's one that has um some some texture to it. Because like up close, it, you can tell it doesn't have that, but from far away, it looks super textured and awesome. Mm -hmm. And so I love something like that for if I did, like if I drew, actually I can, so if I drew like a little leaf. Mm -hmm. So satisfying. It really is. And then I turn symmetry off, switch to black, and I can go and just get a really nice little textural nice. leaf. Nice. So Very like, nice. It does, it, it is possible. Mm -hmm. um, do I generally export to Illustrator after you finish design? No, I don't work in Illustrator at all. Um, also, I've got uh, the creative market um, up here, and this is just adorable and Thanks. beautiful. I love the way that this looks. So here I can get, yeah, there's the bitmap inkers there, mm -hmm. um, and brush packs, and uh, oh my gosh. Pencils, I've got a couple typefaces, very, chalk brushes, very cool. and then I have lettering worksheets. So if you want to learn to letter, you can download the lettering worksheet. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely going to yeah. go and snatch those bitmap anchors. I'm, yeah. I'm pumped for those. Uh, so if you guys are interested Fun. in that, definitely head over to Shauna's Creative Market. That's very cool. Yeah. 
So it's it's very fun to use, like to play with the tools and stuff. And like, and honestly too, I really love um, Kyle Webster's brushes as well, mm -hmm. which you can get with Adobe. Mm -hmm. And like that was my gateway into into figuring out how to make my own brushes. That's awesome. Yeah, he's he's definitely an inspiring guy. Whenever I start like like because he was on for a little while, mm -hmm. um, uh, one of our weeks and. Um, he was like kind of uh, showing off brushes and making brushes and things like that. And I was like, I've got to do this too. <laughs> this is oh, cool. Yeah. So definitely watching him make those brushes. I'm just like, I'm going to have to do some custom voodoo brushes now, I think. Yes. Making Maybe. them is a lot of, it's a lot of trial and error. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure I'm a fan of like how that looks symmetry wise. Ugh. You could um, like kind of use that to do like some of the points symmetrical and then kind of like yeah. when you turned off the symmetry to do the stem of that leaf, go in and fill in the spaces with asymmetrical points. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Cool. Yeah. Or maybe try the squiggle one because it yeah. kind of offset stuff, which could be neat. You know, it'd be cool too. I see. I'd have to go back and probably do these later but I can go in and I can do some of my oh, little yeah. stars. And I can, it'll kind of help make them a little more. Kind of spread out. Yeah, a little more random, but still it'll help fill out that area. Nice, yeah. And then what I can do after that is like lasso and move them. Mm -hmm. So I already have a bunch of them ready to go. Yeah, that's awesome. That's usually what I do um, with like any little like larger particles that I don't use a texture for. Yeah. I'll start like making a bunch of them and then like lassoing and like throwing it to different ends of the, the canvas. Yeah. It, and it's, you know, everyone has their own process and it works. Yep. Uh, Tiffany says, I love the swatches you have. Uh, do you customize them yourself or do you download them from other resources? From in this swatch palette, I think, which one did I use? I want to say I, I loaded the focal the focal tone colors. And are those the ones that kind of, that are in Photoshop? That yeah, you can they're already in into? Photoshop. Awesome, yeah. awesome. And um, cause you can, and if it says, you know, it'll ask you if you want to replace your swatches or append them. Mm -hmm. um, if you append, it's just gonna add them to what you already have. If you choose to replace them, then right on. it works on. Hi Mark, how are you? <laughs> Thanks for the brushes, purchase made. Awesome! Yeah, brush hype. <laughs> you made my day. Very, very cool. What color shirt should they be wearing? Hmm, I feel like I almost want to like choose a color and have them wear like like different variations of like the same color just because they're 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 the boys. <laughs> yeah, I must think because I'm trying to think like they did. I know for their their sweaters that their mom makes, mm -hmm. it's like these really jewel tone colors. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking maybe like. I think typically the Weasleys always look good in like greens and golds and reds. Yeah. I think if we do red and gold, that may help because if I do red and green, it's gonna kind of harken like Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure we want that. So I think we're gonna do the gold. Yeah, gold would think will look really nice. Yeah, so I'll do that separate layer in a minute because awesome. I wanna get him out here. Get these. Somehow I think Val is going to choose purple. It took a lot of like Thieves real strength purple. for me to not say purple. <laughs> you know what though? Like I've always pictured Peeves like wearing like a dark purple. Mm -hmm. And so if I, like maybe like a royal purple. I'm into it. Like so, a like a like a val valpatine purple. Like a valpatine <laughs> purple. Like like your hair but a little little deeper. I'm I'm into it. I'm, I think we I'm can definitely go that. into it. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I'm all for like squeezing in some purple whenever we can. Yeah. I will always be for that. Oh my gosh, there's another Panchezen in chat. Do you know this Panchezen? No, are we related? <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Oh my gosh. Where do you live? Tell me about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's your long lost twin. I know, like, there's apparently a Panchezen in uh, in London, and I know I'm mis. I actually know I'm saying my last name wrong. It's it's supposed to be Panchezen, um, but like you're in Poland. So my rare, okay, Poland. so my my great grandfather the on Panchezen side is from the Ukraine, and I want to say it's Lviv, L V I V. That's awesome. Oh my gosh! Hi, <laughs> we're probably family. <laughs> Hector's like, are we related? What's happening? <laughs> 
<laughs> that is so awesome. Yeah. That is super cool. A Gosh. day to remember for sure. Adobe bringing people together. Yeah. Yes. Reunited, was... long lost cousins. I know. Well, like, I don't know that side of my family. Mm -hmm. I know that, I know my grandma's side, the Kabbalah side, mm -hmm. which is, that's the, that's the Polish side. Mm -hmm. Um. That's but awesome. Like, you guys gotta talk. You guys gotta, you guys gotta connect. This is so cool. <laughs> the, this what up fam moment brought to you by Adobe Meat. <laughs> you know what's funny is like, so a few years ago I was featured on Comarts mm -hmm. um, in there. It was Comarts Fresh and I got a message from somebody and it said, hello from a pinch session in London. And I go, what? <laughs> and I open it up, and it's we we figured out we're related through my great grandfather. Really? Yeah. You actually that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, because she ended up um, her her grandmother lived in Australia, and she I guess like because her last name was different because she was had been married mm -hmm. or her mother got married, so like she wasn't a Pinchesan by last name, but like she was from her grandmother, which was a Pinchesan. That's awesome. That's very cool. Oh, he says, in Poland, I live in Frankfurt already, uh, and at the beginning of the UX road. Awesome. Awesome, That's awesome. That's so crazy. Very cool. Um, also, we are coming up here on the chat and win. I'm getting very excited for it. Um, so another quick reminder for anyone who's chilling over on YouTube, uh, come over to uh, behance.net slash live and hang out with us. Um, yes. Tim says, my name is also pretty rare, but somehow there are three people who have uh, the same last name. No relation at all. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> my dad claims that like Pantrician is kind of like Smith over over in the in Europe. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I believe him. That, well, I feel like the only time I have ever heard of the name is yeah. your name. Um, I, and now his name as yeah. well. <laughs> Thanks to Facebook though, like we, um, I have a cousin that I've never met in like Jacksonville, Florida and mm -hmm. another in Tampa, Florida. Like just never never knew about never each other. Never knew about it. Yeah. There was um unfortunately my my grandfather passed um way before I was born, so my family lost touch with that side of the family. Mm -hmm. So like all these pinches we we don't know. <laughs> and you're like, "Who are you guys?" <laughs> yeah. Maybe uh you will find them through Adobe one day. Went that Someone said Adobe <laughs> <Just> ancestry. <laughs> Adobe ancestry. Yeah. Deanna Adobe. So this is looking really great. I love his little body, his yeah. little legs. I'm super excited. So right now I'm making a clipping mask to fill in the colors. Oh, wonderful. Because so I wanted to get the shape first. That's another thing that I've actually never done that I would very much like to try. So, so yeah. maybe you could walk us through this real quick. Oop, wrong layer. Yeah, so clipping masks are fun because you can change the color of something without like adjust, without affecting your original layer. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have to, you don't have to screw up the original layer. Like mm -hmm. you can create what's called a clipping mask. So you have to go, you can either, you know, right click on it and um, choose clipping mask from here, mm -hmm. or you can use alt and you just click in between the layer and it'll make it happen. So is that, are you clicking on the the layer, the, like a new layer above the one yeah. that you would like? Okay, perfect. Yeah, they have to nest right above them. And so, um, awesome. so like, for example, if I were to do, if I were to just draw on this layer like that, mm -hmm. and I wanted to create it into a clipping mask. Oh, perfect. And awesome. then only it'll only show up in the layer that it's nested into. That's awesome. So we're gonna backspace. I don't know backspace. There we go. <laughs> okay, so his pants would be. What do you think? A royal blue, maybe? Yeah, blue would be good. I feel like this is gonna be a color abomination, but we'll fix everything later. Yeah, that's usually what I do. Um, we do have about uh, 20 seconds, though, until our chat and win. So, awesome. um, yeah, you can chip away at those pants, um, but we're gonna take a break here in just a second um, and start start doing the, the hype in chat. Um, I think today, me and Shauna were hoping you guys would tell us uh, rather you are coffee people or tea people. We got our fireworks Woo! going on, so awesome. <laughs> All right guys, coffee or tea, let's hear it. Welcome back, everyone. Oh yeah, we got we got a oh, lot man. of coffee people. A lot I of mean, coffee people. I mean, coffee's great. I love coffee and I like tea mm -hmm. when I need it. 
But like, if I had, like if my face hadn't hurt this morning, I would have gone for the nitro cold brew. <laughs> I was just in like <laughs> super interested in trying that tea, man. But yeah. I usually am like a, like a coffee person in the morning, but like coffee on like danger levels. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I was like, maybe I'll take a break. Maybe I won't do this. And I, am, um, I don't want to compete with Paul's energy in the, in the studio. I like that's his thing. I'm so. that person that like, I can drink. I can easily drink like four cups of espresso in the morning. Congratulations, David Hicka. Hicka? That's, a, that's a pretty pretty cool name. Congrats, yeah. David. Woo! You Snaps are the you. now the proud uh, uh, owner winner of the Tatley Pack. It's going to be super super awesome. Um, so keep an eye on your uh, Behance messages. Somebody will uh, contact you shortly um, with information on how to claim your prize. Hey! So excited. All, All right. right, how are those pants coming along? That actually is like it a actually great, works. yeah, that's like those two colors look awesome together. Yeah, like generally my portfolio is a lot of really bright colors, mm -hmm. but I don't feel like that would work for this sort of composition. Honestly, Harry Potter has always felt to me, like especially the Weasleys, even yeah. though like they have like the, like the bright reds and golds and yellows and mm -hmm. stuff sometimes, the whole entire like franchise as a whole has always felt to me like, um, dark cozy colors not yeah. quite christmas but like still like very warm dark like kind of somber yeah stuff, which is weird considering like how exciting it is you know yeah. but um i think that it's great to have um like some of the darker colors in there i think it works very nicely yeah and as the books and the movies like continue on they do the compositions of them get really darker. They mm. get a lot darker too. As they get older and like war hardened. Yeah. <laughs> they're all, you know, the more surviving. Voldemort takes over. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, yeah, so I mean, I think it works to have that because the Weasleys don't go into their super colorful outfits until they have Weas Weasleys, Wizard Weezes. Mm -hmm. And that point, they're in like bright pink and orange. Like and crazy stuff. Aside from that time, uh, like when when Ron like became a young man and like decided he was going to go to that dance and showed up in that those frills. That's <laughs> I, my favorite. I I was in love with those frills. I know that they were trying to make him look crazy. Um, but I, that's like my favorite Weasley outfit of all time. So is that, that dance outfit. <laughs> I go to Celebration of Harry Potter every year. Do you? And there are people that, that cosplay there. Oh my gosh, please tell me they wear the frills. Uh huh. Yes! <laughs> there, there, the people will do it as like groups, so they'll be like, you know, Harry will be in his robes, Ron mm -hmm. will be in his robes, <laughs> and then Hermione will be in the pink dress. Like the, the Shakespearean dance outfit, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. That's awesome. Harry Potter talk, yes please, yes. Yep, yep. The art in those movies is amazing. Oh, totally. It is. If you guys totally, haven't, totally. follow Mina Lima. They're the ones that do all the graphic design and packaging design stuff for the film, movies, book, oh, yeah, film and movies, the same thing. Um, for the movies and the park and like any of the merchandise, they've they've right behind it. Very cool. It's it's so cool to see, and I've I've had the opportunity to meet them um, because they they come to celebration every year, mm -hmm. and they're just so fun to listen to. I absolutely love how you do your character faces, by the way. And I Thank like you. me personally, I would never think to do a nose like that, but it works so well. Thank like it, you. it works awesome. I'm I'm super into it. Yeah, favorite part like... of those movies was uh, the tale of the three brothers. Oh, that animation's amazing. Yeah. My my best friend saw it before I did, and she texted me, and she's like, you need to see this animation. It's incredible. <laughs> Uh, what is the challenge? Um, Gustavo, so today uh, we are challenging you guys uh, to create an illustration using the symmetry tool um, in Adobe. Um, if you check out the challenge tab above the chat pod, uh, there's actually um, some details in there that kind of uh, tell you what we need from you um, on that front. Um, and they also show you how to turn symmetry on um, in Photoshop CC. Um, so you, you can check that out. Um, uh, when the challenge submission deadline um, reaches its end, we're actually going to go through all the submissions that we've received for this segment. Um, uh, and we do have actually two segments um, after this 
uh, with some other awesome designers uh, where you guys will be able to um, put uh, your, uh, or submit your entries as well. Um, uh, yeah, so here's a schedule. Um, earlier today we um, had the creative uh, daily creative challenge with Marissa Blair, which was awesome. Uh, Temi was up with Paul making some awesome posters. Me and Shauna here now are doing some epic hand lettering and illustrations. Uh, we'll have Jake Armstrong with some awesome animation coming up um, uh, right after this. And then uh, me and uh, Reza Farazmond uh, will be back uh, at the end of the day uh, to close out with some awesome comic strips, mm -hmm. uh, which is going to be uh, really, really epic. Um, so you guys will have a chance to um, submit during those segments as well. And if, um, you, if you haven't enabled symmetry, you go to Edit, mm -hmm. Preferences, Technology Previews, and you turn it on here. Right here, Enable Paid go. Symmetry, so that you can do that. And it is awesome. Just dawned on me that my question may not be suitable, suitable for this particular cast. What's your question? Um, you're working on the first daily challenge. Uh, and thought of something. That's that's fine though. If you're still working on the on the daily challenges, I encourage you guys all to to complete them. If even if you did not have um, the chance to uh, submit them on the proper day, um, because it's still fantastic practice, and you can still um, submit something to your own portfolio. You know, um, it's always awesome to kind of return back to previous ones or finish stuff up, even if you weren't here during the cast. Uh, the contours of the nose follows the hair. Very cool. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. Oswald. I was I was loving that how it kind of like came down from the hairline and and went to the the side of the face. There, it's very nice. Yeah. The only thing I might have to change if I don't put some kind of background behind them, which I think I'm going to, mm -hmm. um, is to kind of adjust the skin tone or add a little bit of like a, a line, line just to pop him out from the background a bit. Honestly, I think yeah. both of those would look pretty good. So, you know, yeah. whichever you choose. I think it depends on what you want the background to look like, honestly. Yeah, that may be what I end up doing tomorrow because I have to, I still have to you know, do the detail and stuff of differentiating yeah, his like clothes. his, yeah. Mm -hmm. But blocking in the colors now is is what we're working on. It's looking good. I yeah. love the colors that you actually chose because when you said like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do red and gold, I saw like red, red and like oh, gold, yeah. gold. So I really like that this is more of like a maroon, almost like a mahogany kind of uh, mm. kind of red, which is nice. Yeah. Um, and the gold is very warm. It's like a nice burgundy red. It's kind of, it almost, it looks sort of like Gryffindor. Yes, yeah. And it works. It does work. Gryffindor colors are also like low key Weasley colors, to they be are. honest, like the kind of. <laughs> there's, there's so many, like, I mean, the colors of Harry Potter in general definitely are more on that royal jewel tone side. Oh, definitely, side. definitely. And I think maybe because like all of the houses are so like prestigious and important that the colors that were chosen for them when you like, th as far as like the design and everything went, when you look at yeah. them, it makes you kind of feel like you're taking in something that's very regal and, and old and prestigious. Yeah. I agree a hundred percent. We want character design for Val Potter, who's with me. Hey, ideas for challenge submissions. Val Potter and the um, the Citrus Defender. <laughs> Val Potter and the Order of the Sith. Yes, I'm I'm here for it. I'm I'm down for that. <laughs> no, see here, this is if you were if you were a Sith character or if you were a little Harry Potter character. Me? Oh my gosh! Yes. Well, We have like do. the crazy Hermione hair. Oh yes, definitely. And then we'd give you like an epic collar, cape. Definitely need a cape. <laughs> and if Val were adorable. in this composition. Yes. Ta-da. Hey. <laughs> it's me. Which house is your favorite and favorite book um, or movie? Um, my favorite house is Slytherin. I think we're, yeah, we're both on we're that. We're kindred spirits. Oh, here. yes. They're basically the Sith Lords of Harry Potter, so yeah. gotta go with Slytherin. Yeah, we're, um, we're, we're so, min so much kindred spirits that we've walked downstairs twice now in the hotel to find that we're wearing basically the same outfit. Pretty much, yeah. The, 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 the first two days we actually meet each other, we, like, I, I'm, I'm telling you, it's the force. It We're is. like connected in some way, and we have been uh, accidentally um, choosing the same outfits to wear every day, which is awesome. Yeah. You can't see, but we're both wearing like shiny spangly pants. pants. <laughs> they're great. They're good. They're good shiny pants. Shiny pants and boots. Yep. 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, and I'm and I'm a Slytherin. I've done the I've done the test. Mm -hmm. Same. Same. And um, definitely a Slytherin, but mm -hmm. I'm also like my so my favorite book is the first book, mm -hmm. um, the uh, Sorcerer's Stone. Mm -hmm. But my favorite movie is Goblet of Fire. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know why that one, why it's that one, but it's, I think it's just something about like how well they bring together all the different schools and then how awkward Ron is. Mm -hmm. Well, the bringing together the schools and then like from, from like an arts point of view, I was just like blown away by all the different like elements and aspects of that film. And I remember watching it for the first time and thinking to myself, are we gonna get to see? Oh my gosh, we get to see. No, yeah. they're not gonna show us this because they already showed, oh my gosh, we get to see that too. Oh, you know, and yeah. like just one thing after the other where we just got to see all the different elements of the of the um, the uh, uh, event. And I was like really, really excited about that. Yeah. So. And I will say like, I love the new Fantastic Beast series. Mm -hmm. um, like when I saw the movie and those, it opens up as it, it's pretty much just like as the Warner Brother logo shows up, you hear that little do, 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 do. Yep, yeah. And it's so subtle, but I sat there and I went, I took myself on like a single lady date and I was like, I'm going, I'm taking myself. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going by myself. <laughs> also, cause I got to see it before it started. And mm -hmm. if you paid the 30 bucks for like the pre-premiere, mm -hmm. you got the free wand. Oh no, and of course so you got that. That'd I got be like Commander's wand. <laughs> that'd be like if somebody was like, pay this extra money and you get a lightsaber, Val. I'd be like, uh, already did it. Yeah. <laughs> already. Already no, on it. <laughs> no questions asked. Signed up. Bought it. Got the T-shirt. Here, I was I was first in line. Yeah, and so I went to that, and like as the second that those notes hit in that music, my eyes welled up, and I was just oh. like, "This is the best thing of my life." <laughs> like me, whenever I hear Star Wars sound effects when Star Wars movies start, just yeah, kind of like slight slight tear, just a little bit. It's like people don't realize like it's it's a thing. It is a thing. It's an emotional adventure. It is. Um, uh, drawing a nice clean curve is not my forte. Without it, my lettering would be so messy from William. Well, William, you know, practice oh. makes perfect, but you can do lettering without doing perfect curves and Yeah, stuff, like, I mean, you know? if you look at mine, it's not, it's really not perfect. I like having that little bit of, um, what's like, that word? Like texture, like, movement. Yeah, you know, like, I don't expression. like to have it perfect, perfect because then it looks manufactured, mm -hmm. but, there is something you can do, like if you're drawing and you want to get a better curve, um, like I have, I use my little sketchy pencil. Mm -hmm. You can go up to smoothing here and you can turn on smoothing and 24 won't do a whole lot, but like it makes the line a lot smoother. And then if you bring it up to like 63 or any higher. Oh, wow. It will. Suddenly you draw amazing. <laughs> yeah. And so like I have used that when I, whenever I have to do like calligraphy, because it makes it a lot smoother. Wow, I need to try that. I tried to do some hand lettering the other day and I was thinking to myself, I was like, what would Shauna do? And then I went and looked at your Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I was like, how did, and then I was like, how does she do this? Yeah. But now I, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do that next time I need to channel you. Yeah, your, it, uh, it helps. Like if I'm working on a bigger composition and my, cause my hands aren't super steady when I draw. Mm -hmm. So like all my sketches are like this big when I, when I do anything. And then you. Yeah. And of, then I blow them up mm -hmm. and I, I slowly make them bigger and bigger and bigger. And, um, so I ended up like I've, I'll use the smoothing tool if I need a smoother line. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And then fun fact, like anyone that's jumping into calligraphy, like the quick dirty of this, light on the upstroke, hard on the downstroke. Because if you do, to know. if you do this and then as you come down, it's light mm -hmm. and you, it's, it's gonna look weird. Yeah, it looks like it's trying to fly off the page a little bit, you know, yeah, trying it, to go away. So, and, and when you're using like pen and nib, if you're, if you can't do hard upstroke because it's gonna catch the, um, the paper. Mm -hmm. So doing it like, and also, like this is something where you can practice using that symmetry tool. Mm -hmm. um, let me erase this, and I'll make a new document just so we can like give some inspiration. Also, we've got about 15 minutes left until the um, challenge deadline for this segment. So, if you guys are uh, working toward um, entering into our challenge today for a chance to win a free year of Creative Cloud. 
uh, definitely get those entries in soon. I've not tried Spiral yet. Let's try Spiral. Oh, I'm excited. So I'm gonna do... Oh, wow. That is so cool. Yeah, so it's a little weird here because it's reversed. But I like how, I, I really like how the the, it, the tool spreads it out so it's not like 100% mirrored. It actually yeah. has that pulling on the other side. It's just so cool. Yeah, that is really cool. Let's try. It like gives it that little bit of like realistic, like awesome kind of flair to it. Yeah. It's like I could do a line here. This is where it is gonna, it's gonna get just a little bit slow. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's mostly because I'm working on the surface versus it being the actual tool. Mm -hmm. So we'll wait. That's awesome. <laughs> but so you can like really use that symmetry tool and play with some lettering. Yeah. It's, it's fun. It also fills your canvas up a little bit too, mm -hmm. which might actually, like if you do some exercises with symmetry tool on, it might kind of take away that fear of like having this giant open like white canvas. Yeah. Um, because it's like filling it and making it cool and kind of giving you like, even if you're just doing the, um, the like dual half um, kind of symmetry setting, yeah. um, you can even like get like some cool Rorschach stuff going on, you know, and just, just as a, like an exercise, like a beginning of the day exercise, just to play around with some shapes and stuff. <sighs> Just curious, why is it lagging? Well, the the setting that she had it on for the um, symmetry tool is probably like the most intense because it's it's doing like four different versions, and also yeah. you're on a, a like a mobile device too. Yeah. So um, uh, this is only 16 gigs of RAM on here, and so, and it also has to take into account that like the brush I'm using has had smoothing on. Mm -hmm. So it had to smooth that as well as duplicate it four times. And so mm -hmm. there is gonna be a little bit of lag in that, but give it time. Like they're probably gonna come out with some way to make it make yeah. that go away. Because exactly. this is very new to mm -hmm. Photoshop. And uh, honestly, uh, uh, like you can do it on a desktop. It'll probably be fine on a desktop. Yeah, I've got a 32 gig desktop at home. Mm -hmm. And when I get back into town, I'll probably test it out and see if there's any lag or not. Mm -hmm. Um, because before you could only do this in like Procreate, and now, now the the has been up. Yeah. Dishing it out, man. <laughs> All righty. Still an experimental feature, yes. Yeah, uh, as well. You have, yeah, you have to turn it on. So, mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna look through. I'm gonna peek. Yeah. I'm not, well, I mean, I can peek if I want. I usually don't peek at challenge submissions, but I think I am gonna do like a, a small peek just because I'm wondering if there's any Citrus Defenders. Listen, there better be a Citrus Defender or We're gonna be sad. this has been a waste of, a waste of time, guys. <laughs> a waste of time. Citrus Defender, here's your inspiration I right there, now. I think there may be a Citrus Defender. I'm gonna, I choose to believe that this is probably a Citrus Defender and I love it. Love it. <laughs> so, oh, that's a cute one. I like the symmetry use of that one. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, I don't, do we wanna show them yet or no? Um, no, we can wait, we can wait. I'm excited. You guys are in some, for some fun. Yeah, you guys are gonna love it. Maybe next time draw some Sith Slytherin mashup. That is a fantastic idea. Mm -hmm. That is a great idea. If Kylo Ren was at Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> Kylo Ren in the frilly, like Ron Weasley, thing, like Leia sends We need him. to write that down <laughs> yes. so that I do that later. Yes, please. <laughs> the that ultimate fan good. art. <laughs> Kylo in in Ron Weasley's uh, dance outfit and uh, Voldemort with um, uh, Hermione's Darth Maul's, Dar Darth Maul's uh, lightsaber is what I'm going for. Or like Vol like it could be um, Darth Maul as Dumbledore. Yes. With the hat. Yes. With the hat. And the Zabrak horns going through. Kylo's a brat. Listen, that's beside the point. Okay. <laughs>
geek out, definitely. That's basically what's like, happening here, Tim. I feel like <laughs> Kylo Ren would be the Draco of, of the universe. My father will hear about this. You don't understand me, guys. <laughs> just flip his beautiful hair, storm out. Oh. <laughs> basically everything that Draco did. Just that sneer. Or no, actually, I th I'm pretty sure, pr pretty sure Draco's the Hux of that story because he's got like the, the, the part. I think it's the part in the hair. Yeah. Where <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> Jose's like, what have I come <laughs> back to? I'm sorry. I promised I wouldn't do this. <laughs> hey, Miriam. Good to see you. I, I'm baiting it. So. Yeah. <laughs> you guys you guys can't do this to me. You can't bring him up in chat. Otherwise, that's what this broadcast will turn into. <laughs> All right. We've got our peeves coming. Oh, I got to turn off the... The purple is about to begin, I think. The purple vacation. Pretty soon. Yeah, I may change the color of his skin. I just wanted to block in a color, mm -hmm. which like if I decide to change it, I can also go down here to the adjustment layers and just like choose solid color. So we'll do something really random for now. And then I can clipping mask it onto his onto his little body. That's awesome. Um, that's his hair. And now he's like creepy red. Awesome. And then I can go in here and I can just, just change, change it from it. there. That is so awesome. It is like so... Uh, convenient and just like better than what I do. <laughs> I need to. I need to like kind of put this into my uh, my my workflow for sure. Yeah, it's it really is like the clipping mask thing is a life changer because I I honestly did not know about it mm -hmm. until I watched um, my friend Sid Weiler's stream mm -hmm. and then she explained it and I was like, I know it's like magic. Total magic. Sarah Stewart is in chat. Hello, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. It's good to see you. How are you? Hagrid as Chewy. Oh, Lucas, you're speaking to my heart right now. Yes. <laughs> yes. And Jar Jar can be the hippogriff. Don't. No. No. <laughs> That's not what we're doing today. <laughs> Who would be serious? I don't know. I'm not sure. Han? Maybe. Maybe. Well, Maybe. did any of them go to jail? In Star Wars, I like, think, did I they think get... Han, I think Han is serious black. Yeah, definitely. He was, because Han Solo is one that got that trapped in the. Yeah. Okay. Terminate. He's yeah. he's serious. Mm -hmm. Definitely serious. Um, um, and then I feel like Leia would be probably Hermione. Oh yeah. Because she seems like she doesn't put up with their with their ish. Mm -hmm. My cat just took over my keyboard. I'm sorry. It happens though. It it, it happens. It happens. <laughs> All right, we've got just a few minutes here, um, or oh under 10 minutes before we meet our uh, these, challenge deadline. I'm so excited. These streams are just flying by. I don't want to go. C3PO is Filch. Can we just like like replace Filch completely with just him coming in? Oh dear. <laughs> just like doing his little thing. Yes. I'm. 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 And for then that. C3PO can be Miss. Uh, what's the cat's name? R2 can be little, the Mrs. I can't remember his cat's name. Miss Norris. Yeah. Mrs. Uh, Norris. Hey, regards from Mexico. Javier, hello, Hi. welcome in. It's good to see you. Hello from Brazil. What's up? Uh, Levi? Can, Levy? Can we see the backpack, Shauna? <laughs> I mean, if someone wants to grab it, we can show the backpack on stream. It's a cute backpack. I can yeah. see it from here. I got it from it's the kids section of Target <laughs> for $10. Is and I have, a, I have an ice cream. Um, uh, pencil case. It's it's actually kind of amazing. I'll post pictures to my Twitter afterwards so you guys can all see it. Uh, and Lena is from Austria. Awesome. Welcome in. New mm -hmm. on Behance, do you freelance work or work for a company? This is from Anastasia. I am 100% freelance. Awesome. Yep. I work 100% freelance, so companies will hire me to come in and do things like mm -hmm. this. Very, very cool. <laughs> um, your submission from the challenge is... Oh, let me check for you, Dana. Yeah, because I want to see your, your submission, Dana. I hope it's something skating related. She's a she's a fellow figure skater. Oh, is she? Yes. Very cool. That's how we know each other. We know each other from like the online skating community and then we put two and two together one day. Very, very cool. All right, I'm adding his purple. What color should his shirt collar be? I feel like that should just be like randomly like hot pink or something. I I would be into that. Yeah. Um, Dana Craft, I I am seeing one from you. Um, so 
They're not in order, is my understanding. Yeah. So that may have something to They're do with it. They're a little jumbled, um, but I am seeing one from you. The the Just Dance, which I'm in love with. I think that's the one great. actually I I remarked on earlier that I was like, oh, that's super cute. So <laughs> it is very cute. Uh, how does she find her clients? How do I find my clients? That a little bit. So it, it varies, like some find me, mm -hmm. um, some I've reached out to, some are word of mouth. Mm -hmm. um, initially, a lot of it is just like, I get my work out there. So I post on Instagram almost every day. Mm -hmm. um, oh my God. I know. Uh, my <laughs> computer is, is having a hard time. She's just like breathing very heavy over here. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's distracting to you. No worries. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I, a lot of it is like they, they reach out to me, they find me, I send out promo mailers every quarter. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm actually due to send one out by the end, like around the end of October, so I'll probably do that soon. Um, and so, uh, that kind of gets the word out because then people end up, like, if maybe they know someone looking for somebody, they'll refer me to someone, um. I have a potential gig coming through that was someone that knows me, pitched me for the job, um, and, and such like that. So it's, a lot of it is is very much like word of mouth, people finding my work on the internet. Um, I'm very active on Instagram, I'm very active on Twitter. I've worked to keep my Behance updated a lot more lately because that does make a difference. Um, and it, makes it like because it makes it easy for if someone you know if someone comes across my Behance and it's not updated mm -hmm. yeah you know I finally I finally went and I did like a mass update recently because it was it was way old like You've if you go on my awesome stuff on there right now yeah well and if you scroll down like you can see some of my way old stuff because mm -hmm. I kept a few things on there because like that world of foot one mm -hmm. that's how people know my work this the the very the uh -huh. very last one Yep, oh, wow. that was the very first piece that actually kind of launched my my freelance career. Mm -hmm. I did that as an intern. Um, I did all the lettering and all the illustration, and the creative director put it together. And I ended up, um, I, I finished up my internship. I got a, a job working in fashion. And hi, Logan. <laughs> and um, I ended up... What's up, Logan? Up go, I ended up, like, I, I got a call one day from the art director, and she's like, hey... Just wanted to let you know, that World of Foot poster got accepted into Com Arts Type Annual. Oh, nice! And so, and I was like, what? And I mean, in the the agency, Brunette Garcia um, in Jacksonville, I love them. I'm shouting them out because they're that wonderful. I've kept in touch with them. I, I haven't been their intern for eight years now. Really? And they're just awesome. Yeah, I still keep in touch with them. I went to one of the weddings. Like, they're and I've done work for them since, and it's just like. They're such wonderful people, and mm -hmm. anything I've done, if it's taken an award, they call me, and they're like, we want to let you know. That's so cool. Like, there was one thing that I worked on with them that we found out, like, they were at um, at the, what was the award ceremony? It was an advertising one. Um, anyways, they were, they were texting me at, from the, from the event, they're like, your poster just took first, er, oh, they just took so a gold, cool. no, but, so they, like, they've credited me in everything, and them putting the credit in Comart's type annual led to me doing the OC Weekly with Dita Von Teese on the cover. That's so which, cool. Like, and, and all that kind of snowballed and then mm -hmm. I had got I got fired from an agency job in Orlando mm -hmm. and I just dove in head first and that poster eight years later still gets me work. That's crazy, that's awesome. Um, and if you like go on Pinterest, like way, way early on in my career, if you went on Pinterest and you typed in my name, like that's all that all came that up. came up. <laughs> and it was just like hundreds of pins of this one poster. I was like, is this what virality is? <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I'll take virality for $10, Alex. <laughs> I mean, it was just like, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't fathom like how many people liked that poster. Mm -hmm. It was the weirdest thing. Very cool. Um, um, also, we've got less than 20 seconds until our challenge submission deadline. So this is like the, the, the very, very edge here for the segment. Um, if you guys do not uh, get your challenge submissions in um, by the end um, of this deadline, uh, there are two more segments coming up uh, uh, later today with Jake 
um, and Paul and uh, Reza um, that you guys can uh, enter for as well. Um, but we hope to see your stuff um, for this segment. Um, again, if you guys want to check out the challenge tab um, and get some details about what we are um, doing today, uh, we are creating illustrations um, using the uh, symmetry tool in Photoshop, which is really, really awesome. Um, and I, s I saw Logan had a, a question earlier where it said uh, he was asking if I'd done murals before. Painted murals, I've not done. Mm -hmm. I have done chalk murals down at Purple Rock Scissors in Orlando. They used to have a big chalk wall, and they had me come in twice to do big chalk That's drawings. That's awesome. Very cool. Which is really hard when you can't project things because it's too bright. Um, I am, real quick, uh, maybe we can take a break here and kind of look through the challenge entries because I know that we got some really cool ones. Yeah, um, I'm game. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we got a bit, even got a new one here. Oh, wow. Um, okay, so um, let's Whoa. switch over and do, yeah. Look, at this is from Alexander Baquet. This is gorgeous, like a whole like yeah. mandala and Should everything. Should we do the command plus? Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can zoom in just a little bit. I think it's just one yeah. that'll make it happen. Um, uh, but yeah, this is beautiful, Alexander. This is awesome. This is like very, very symmetry tool, um, just all the way here. This is great. Um, uh, next, we have um, this from Javier. I choose to believe that this is the Citrus Defender. I would like to think so. It's like yeah. a close-up on his face. Mm -hmm. On the orange. That's what, I, that's, that's what that's I'm going for. I feel like that's the face I make when I'm really excited. I'm like, <gasps> yes! <laughs> but I love it. This is very, yeah. very cute. And I can see where you used the uh, symmetry tool yeah. here, which is awesome. Um, and I also love that you used the symmetry tool, and then you turned it off and broke that symmetry mm -hmm. uh, for the uh, mouth and everything there, which is really, really cool. Yeah. Um, Next, we have uh, this Just Dance, Just Dance Cats uh, from Dana Craft, um, and this is adorable. It really is. This is so cute. Um, I love the, the little lifted leg there. Where yeah. She's like, yeah. It's like that, that emoji, the dance emoji. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I like, too, that not only did um, you use the symmetry tool and do some awesome illustration here, you also did some really lovely hand lettering. This yeah. is awesome. I love how you filled the space with it, too. So it's because you didn't just do the symmetry just straight on and straight down. Like, you you turned the the guide and had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, so. it's really nice. I like, the too, nice. that it's like... Um, uh, cursive and like regular yeah. type, which is really, really nice. Um, and then we have this from um, Julia, which is actually like kind of cool because they're like a, a photo, which yes. is neat. Very um, neat. Very beautiful young lady here. <laughs> awesome. Um, and then next we have um, Joseph Medina, uh, which is awesome. And this is another one where they kind of used the symmetry tool to create something, yeah. turned it off, and broke that symmetry um, with some as asymmetrical sketching and stuff. So this is really yeah. cute. The sad little pug, he's so Nine adorable. That's it. That's the I want food. Yes, definitely. <laughs> the, the I want food face. Um, and then we got another one um, from from Van Dam. Hey it looks Van like, Dam. Uh, which it looks like Paul has got like a number one fan. Now. Yeah, I'm pretty. Uh -huh. He's, yeah, he's he's got a he's got a little fan Ooh, club fan starting. Club. Oh, totally. I love Paul from Van Dam. This is adorable. Um, and then next, I think we may have gone over this one in the previous um, one, but we can kind of take a look at it um, again just to refresh. Yeah. Um, this is really beautiful. It really um, is. And I'm loving like the, like the symmetry. Um, that's used for this, um, but I'm also loving like just the textures and, and stuff in the back that's really cool. It mm -hmm. almost looks to me like um, a close up on like a sea anemone or something. Yeah, it also kind of looks like, like a. Nice a flow. Do you remember those kaleidoscopes where you turn it and the little things would Yeah, do, 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 yeah, do, yeah. Do, and they'd kind of just yeah. like fall over over and over. That's yeah. kind of what it looks like to me. Definitely. I, and I, I think like it's how cool. it's cool. I like how it almost looks like, like it looks like they broke it for the background. Yeah, definitely. Um, and it, I think that that like is it really adds like a nice element to it because when you're yeah. doing, especially when you're like going through like a lot of submissions where everyone is using symmetry, 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 yeah. having that little bit of like extra, um, like l extra oomph, you know, yeah. kind of like is cool to, to break that and stuff. Um, and then earlier we got some, we got some, we got a Paul from mm -hmm. Van Damme and we got a mystery cat. I like that he even uh, got his Lee. five o'clock shadow in there. Yeah, he did. He did. Like, <laughs> just, <laughs> it's very cool. Um, 
But yeah, these are awesome submissions, yeah. guys. Thank you so much uh, for entering the challenge. Um, and keep them coming, because we've got two more segments yes. uh, coming up that you guys can enter for. Um, and we're very excited to see what you guys um, do. Uh, for those of you guys who are just kind of jumping in and don't uh, quite get what we're uh, going over, uh, we have a cool challenge um, going on at the moment uh, where you guys um, use the symmetry tool um, to create an illustration um, in Photoshop. Um, and what we're going to do is at the end of the day, um, after 3 p.m., we're going to go through all the um, submissions and uh, choose a winner um, who will be messaged um, with instructions on how to claim their prize, which is a year of Creative Cloud, um, which is like kind of a, like pretty epic, uh, if you ask me. Uh, yeah. A year of Creative Cloud um, is, is pretty fantastic. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for entering, and let's jump back into um, Shauna's work over here. I guess I've never really thought about like what skin color peeves would be. I kind of I kind of like that his clothes are really bright and then his hair and nose and skin is like more desaturated and subdued yeah, actually. Yeah. A lot more muted. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool and he's supposed to be he's supposed to be a ghost, right? He's a poltergeist. So like he's not technically a ghost. But it's still like he he kind of I like that he like we have like the visual for him being like this like kind of like mean like creepy like little guy. Yeah. But he also is having a good time and obviously in the, at this point like working hand in hand with them. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that I think that the the visual representation for him is great. Um, and I, I like I do like the colors. I'm, I know that it might seem like I'm a little biased because it is purple, but. And the fun thing too is you can apply clipping masks to um, groups too. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do, this may not work. This may look really weird, but I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna turn off my sketch just for a brief period. Just kind of see what we've got so far. Mm -hmm. And then. alternate the colors in here. And I think, I think That's doing- awesome. Yeah, I think doing red and, and gold might be a little too much. So I'm gonna change this gold and I'm gonna color pick this navy. And I think that might work where it's just a little bit, but it's not super obvious. Yeah, I think that works really well. Yeah. Uh, I need to work the clipping masks more. Yeah, same, same, uh, Dana. After because I I had seen um, Sid use them, and then mm -hmm. after being able to like sit next to Shauna and like really watch her work with them, I definitely need to um, kind of pull that into my regular workflow. Yeah, I think you'd have some like really cool things with the clipping masks, honestly. Especially I, with how you layer to. color. I, I have like a really like kind of crazy habit of like making 20 to 30 blending mode layers. <laughs> so I'm yeah. just like overlaying textures and awesome stuff. And I do use um, like the uh, uh, like paste into, you know, command oh, yeah. and stuff. But I think the clipping mask would be a lot quicker. I think I'm gonna move this over just a titch um, because with how close this is, it's like her hell versus like being two words. Yeah, so I'm kind of kind of give it a little a breathing little. room. Yeah, and see how nicely that still fits right in here. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So now I just gotta repaint some of that color back in. Uh, clipping masks are really cool. Not many projects where I don't use that facility. Awesome, Simon. Um, all Adobe events or XD only related uh, need to hunt at least one. There are some awesome XD streams um, that happen yeah. here um, every month, I believe, um, here on Adobe Live. So if you are looking for um, some XD broadcasts and stuff, definitely um, uh, subscribe. Um, so that you get uh, the update or the little um, notification uh, whenever we're live over here um, and and stick around for um, some awesome XD streams. 
um, you can actually go to um, the the schedule um, and and check out what we have uh, set up for you guys um, in the future. Um, this week, actually, we do have XD Creative Challenge streams happening every single morning um, with Marissa. Uh, so if you're interested in that, um, it's it happens at 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. Um, and you can check our schedule tab above the um, the video player, uh, which will bring you to, to this um, page here, and you can actually go through and check out all of these awesome casts and see when they start and, and everything. Um, if you are interested in XD2, um, we have the uh, daily creative challenges that you can participate in along with um, Marissa, um, which are really fun. Um, you can even join the um, XD Slack um, and talk with other XD creatives um, and uh, uh, join in there. If you're working along the stream, save your work. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Please I just save realized like it's been like almost the entire stream and I didn't think I I don't think I hit command S like once. No, save. It's very important. Yeah. There was um one when I used to do uh, Twitch, mm -hmm. there was a, a viewer I had that used to come in and she'd just go, save your work and like leave. And then you're just <laughs> like, like a lurker that just kind of reminds you, hey, I have uh, somebody that does the same thing and they also remind me to get up and stretch my legs. Yeah. <laughs> is so it Johnny? Like, yes, it yeah. is Johnny. <laughs> it is Johnny. <laughs> I think she had like her own command in my stream where it was like, you know, sip, flip, and stretch. Yep, flip your canvas. You know, yep, 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 yep. It's a little harder to do that with lettering because if you flip it, you're like, well, this looks wrong completely yeah, totally. it's all backwards. <laughs> it's easier for your painter because then it's, you know, basically just like a reverse, you know. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite snack for designing? Ooh. Ooh. Tea. Tea. Um, <laughs> I really like to sip on tea. I like to sip on, like, if I can find, like, nitro cold brew mm -hmm. or even just iced coffee, I'll sip on that for hours. Mm -hmm. But if we're talking about, like, snack snacks, Cheez-Its. I um, have a <laughs> strong uh, love and attachment to the chicken nuggets. <laughs> so anytime, anytime I can, I can design like I'm sitting painting, and I also have chicken nuggets with me. It's a good day. I like it. Chicken nuggets and and honey mustard. And yeah. I know that that's not like a practical snack to have, but it's my favorite it's snack. So oh, also popcorn. Like I like to pop my own popcorn on the stove. I do that too. Yeah, yes. and I'll do all kinds mm -hmm. of like I get like truffle salt and I'll mm -hmm. use like fancy salts on mm -hmm. it. And then I'll, but my problem is like I have a habit where I like grab multiple at a time and I'm like ah. <laughs> yeah, and then well then you like your hands are greasy and you're like yeah. touching on you know your 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 stuff there. So I whereas have to be like, careful. Yeah, whereas like cheese, it's like it's not that messy. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, also, I apologize for saying the chicken nuggets as if it was something <laughs> that like nobody. The chicken nuggets. There's only there's only three of them. Chicken brand chicken nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> there's. <laughs> so I don't want to make this like a color explosion. So I'm going to start pulling colors that we already have down, mm -hmm. and I'm going to focus more on like some brighter ones for here. Very cool. To make these little guys happen. Awesome. There needs to be a fun Microsoft paperclip type character in Adobe. Save your work. Yeah, like to come yeah. in in the corner and just be like, hey, save, please. Uh, Lucas likes pistachios. I like pistachios oh, too. Pistachios I like are good too. Pistachio Ooh. ice cream and pistachio bread. Macadamia good. nuts. Ooh, yeah. Those are, those are my vice. If I get any kind of nut, mm -hmm. I love macadamia. That sounds delicious. I'm so glad I ate before this because I would be starving right now with this talk. <laughs> Gabrielle coming in with the uh, uh, chicken nugget suggestions here. She says Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets are the best in the world and I've tried tons. The the, the chicken nugget connoisseur. I'm, I am I actually have never tried their chicken nuggets. So oh maybe girl. I'll show now. You gotta go to the I'm, south. Yeah. Cause you, I don't think you can get them. Out. I don't think they're out west and I don't think they're in the north. I literally think Chick-fil-A is like a southern thing and then there's like a New York one. I've seen a couple of them here. I just never really? go to them. Yeah. Go I get just, their go get their Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. I'll have it's, to. It's really good. I'll have to do that. If you like um like pickles, it's like chicken and pickle and bread. And that it's sounds so delicious. good. I, I I may just change that eventually to my favorite design snack, which would also be equally as uh, kind of not easy to do as that, like a yeah. thing of chicken nuggets, but. 
Teddy loves the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. <laughs> Teddy does. Teddy is her uh, amazing dog. And Teddy is, is like kind of the mascot, honestly. He's like yeah. he's like a permanent fixture, and he's so awesome that whenever I think of you, obviously first I think of your fantastic work, and then the second thing I think of is your voice going, cookie? Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> he, he had a little treat bucket. I go, tell you one cookie? Yep, yep, yep. She and used to have him on, on the Adobe stream all the time in the background, kind of romping around, doing yeah. his thing. <laughs> He'd like, we'd, like, I'd, we'd be working, all of a sudden I'd see the chat just start going, Teddy! Teddy! Yeah, and you know, he walked past in the background <laughs> and people would be like, dog! <laughs> the That's internet loves doggos. <laughs> so I would, I had a, I kept a little treat bucket at my desk. I had this cute little, um, this cute little, like, Polish pottery cup. Mm -hmm. And I just kept his, like, favorite cookies in it. Mm -hmm. And we, and so everyone would just go, Teddy, want a cookie? Teddy, want a cookie? So I just go, <laughs> Just, said, just sliding them across the table. Yeah. <laughs> He's so I'd, sweet. I'd go, Taiwan cookie? And he'd go, cookie? Oh, Lucas says, going back to Harry Potter references. Oh, he's bringing it, bringing it up again. Ooh, Let's see. Here we go. Oh, man. There's oh. Chick-fil-A in Chicago. Oh, snap. That makes me happy. <laughs> Your work has progressed amazingly since I first saw the... Uh, Canito. Oh, Contino, Contino workshop. Yeah, I did um, John Contino's lettering workshop. Just, oh, awesome. Just for fun to see like what else I could learn. Because mm -hmm. I'd been lettering for a few years before that as well. But mm -hmm. I love his work, so I wanted to just kind of like peek into his brain. Right Thanks, on. Paul. Yeah, that's nice, dude. Is it an iPad or some walk? It's a Surface Pro 4 that I'm working on. Awesome, awesome. Um, we were just kind of uh, talking about uh, our mobile devices and, mm -hmm. and stuff that we work on um, earlier today. Um, and uh, I think that as far as uh, kind of like peace of mind sort yeah. of thing, I think that it's actually a fantastic uh, tool to have just because like, um, and me and Reza were actually talking a lot about this too yesterday, like just like not only the um, like practice, 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 and like mm -hmm. the actual physical, like doing the work side of being an artist, but also the like personal health and care and stuff yeah. side of being an artist. Having a, a mobile device to to work on, um, if you're able to have a thing like that, is actually really awesome. Um, just because of the freedom that it gives you to go and um, work on stuff in a different setting, um, because yeah. it's very easy to like feel kind of caged or get a little stuffy in. In, like the same place day Very after much. day after day so yeah and I like I will go and work in um I'll, I'll go take my my iPad or my iPad mm -hmm. Surface Pro I have an iPad Pro as well but mm -hmm. I don't do client work on it mm -hmm. um, but I'll take my Surface Pro with me and I'll go to the local Starbucks and I'll just sit there for a few hours and just work and a lot just of it too is it. like taking myself away from my desktop setup mm -hmm. because what ends up happening is I've got like my Cindique, I've got my monitor, and it's easy for me to throw any reference material up on the monitor. Mm -hmm. And then I end up like kind of like over inundating myself mm -hmm. with things, and it ends mm -hmm. up getting to a point where I have to step away. So because I can't multitask on this, mm -hmm. it forces me to kind of detach. Work. Yeah. For me, I like there's a certain period of work where. Uh, like in a project where I like have to be looking at my references and have to have to have to like have up my like anatomy and, yeah. and like all my stuff up, you know, while I'm I'm uh, looking at that and working on my on my work. But after a while, there comes a point where I don't really need to rely on the references as much because I've gotten to the point where I pretty much am good for the. Re I'm just like detailing and adding textures and doing all that. Yeah. But having it up still leaves like the the room for me to start like browsing Pinterest when I don't really need to be doing that and all that kind of stuff. So it's nice to be able to yeah. like, be like, okay, this is like, you know, got to like a good point um, that I'm comfortable with and just switch everything over to um, my mobile device and then go someplace else, go sit on the porch or yeah. go to the park or something. I honestly, like as much as I love Pinterest, I really am so glad I didn't have it in school. Oh, it's danger. It's I feel like, cause you want to be on it all the time. Yeah, I feel like it would have been it would have worked against me because mm -hmm. it's it's very easy to see all this stuff and get, you know, you get inspiration, but there's such a difference between inspiration and imitation. Mm -hmm. 
And I see a lot of that with students these days is like they, they use Pinterest as their sole source. And so they, you know, you kind of cherry pick from like what you like, but mm -hmm. some people like, and that's how you do the inspiration. Mm -hmm. You kind of like pick the best of what you like and you make it your own thing. Yeah. But then you get people that are like, I just like this and I only like this. And then they start looking at only that style. Only that, yeah. And then they end up in this weird amalgamation of the same thing and they just start to look like someone else and yep. it's and they think they've hit like their style but it's not but it's their not. style. It's just it's just kind of cohesive, you know, between the the work, but it's not necessarily um, something that I don't want to say that came from them just because on some level too like there's a level of everybody's art that came from some other place, but right. it's 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 a little more constraining um, and it's not like on a level that is like the peak unique level that they could be reaching. Right, yeah. like they hit a point where they're like, this now looks like who I, like the other people I like. Mm -hmm. Who they and admire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, versus like, this has this, this has the feeling of what I want, what I like about all of theirs, mm -hmm. and I've now found a way to make it my own. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know? And that's like, you know, that's the imitation aspect, and then you have the, I'm inspired by this, and I really like the feel of this work, and I would, I'm okay exploring this if I can if you can recognize like what it is about it that makes you feel a certain way mm -hmm. like I love texture in my work but Same. I also love very flat shapes so mm -hmm. I had to find kind of a balance between the two so like what's going to happen is like here you see like I've his face has the texture mm -hmm. and the details are going to have the texture but everything else is going to be a lot more flat mm -hmm. yeah because that's what I've kind of come to where I'm like this is what I like and this is what feels right mm -hmm. so it's been an it's an interesting way of like Kind of finding your thing and figuring out how to make it work for you mm -hmm. yeah definitely definitely i think i think it's like it's it's definitely a, a a journey that we all kind of go on as artists as well yeah you know like um uh eric sue in chat is saying all of his stuff looks different um and i i kind of have this particular discussion with people a lot in that um I also feel like everything in in my portfolio looks different, and I'm sure like there's tons of artists mm -hmm. around who feel like all of their stuff has like a different vibe from piece to piece. Yeah. Um, but we don't. What we don't realize as the artist is that other people don't always see things that way because we watched every single piece of uh, of the the process. Also, Jake is in the house now. Heck this yeah. is awesome. What's up, Jake? <laughs> Um, well, and I mean, I uh, look at, if I see a piece, a lot of times too, there's a certain feeling that you can get from someone's work where you're mm -hmm. like, that's so-and-so's work. Even exactly. if it's different from piece to piece. Mm -hmm. To recognize that within yeah. the, the piece. But I don't think it's like, n it's not always the case that the artist also feels that way. Right. Like, you know I've, what I mean? I've done things where I'm like, this looks nothing like the work I do. And I like, it's something I have to do for a client. And I'm mm -hmm. like, this looks nothing like what I do. But someone will see this and they'll, they'll text me and they'll be like, Oh, is this is this Shauna? Shauna, is this your work? And I'm yeah. like, yeah. And they're like, and they're like, it looks like your work. Yeah, like, yeah. It feels like you. It looks like you. And I'm like, okay, then I guess I'm yeah. not that far off. Yeah, just it just happens, and it's it's not always something that the artists themselves can see. Um, but we are coming up on the end of our broadcast here, um, which is. is, is kind of sad but I we know. have another day one more day um, and we also have some some awesome people um coming up next uh, we've got uh jake armstrong and paul tranny coming up next with some more epic epic animation which i'm super yeah. super excited about um paul's doing some like calisthenics in the background yep his feet are six feet in the air <laughs> at the moment <laughs> he's doing his handstands <laughs> jake's in his awesome hat so we're they're 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 getting prepared uh, for the cast. This is gonna be awesome. Um, why don't we um, uh, zoom out there so yeah. that you can kind of see people can see what you um, accomplished there. for the day because it's looking really great. Okay. I'm gonna, um, so uh, fun if you need to write your canvas because you can rotate. If mm -hmm. you hit R and you have you hit Escape, it'll write it. So like awesome, if I'm here, awesome. hit Escape. Um, so fun. yeah. So there is the uh, the poster thus yeah. far, the illustration thus far, and it's looking really, really great. I'll turn off this um, thing right here. So this is what we've got. I'm mm -hmm. gonna finish the rest tonight, and then tomorrow we're gonna add in 
all the detailing. Awesome. I can't wait. That's a, then, another one of my favorite parts um, yeah. of your process. This is where rad. it like starts to feel like our own thing. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for, for joining us. Uh, maybe real quick we can yeah. take a look at the schedule and give you guys an idea of what we are gonna be doing later today and tomorrow. Uh, earlier this morning, we had uh, the XD Creative Challenge uh, stream with Marissa Blair, which was awesome. Uh, Temi uh, and Paul uh, were here just before us, uh, working on some fantastic posters. Me and Shauna just got done doing some awesome Harry Potter illustrations and hand lettering. Um, Jake Armstrong and Paul are coming up next uh, to do some awesome animation. Yesterday was so cool, I can't wait to see what you guys are gonna do today, it's gonna be rad. Um, and then at the end of the day, um, Reza, Farazmond, and me are gonna be coming back um, to close out the evening with some rad um, and exclusive comic strips, which Ooh, is gonna be awesome. That's exciting. Um, so thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you for entering yes. our challenge, which is still going on if you guys still want to enter for the day. Um, and yeah, yeah, can't wait for tomorrow. It's gonna be rad. Yeah. All right, bye, bye. everyone. Thank you.